left Atlanta a few days ago after a trip to Savannah to come see this girl that I had fallen in love with in Namibia when I was out there a year or so ago. She had moved to University TRNC, Turkish Republic of Course. It was only a country recognized by Turkey itself because in the 70s, Turkey landed on the island of Cyprus and declared it their own and killed a bunch of people and the UN came in and pushed them apart. I flew Atlanta, JFK, Moscow, Larnaca. My bag definitely didn't make it, so in Larnaca I filed a missing bag report. Caught a bus to Larnaca City Station. Stood around for three hours waiting for a bus to the Turkish checkpoint because no cabs will take you over the checkpoint. The Turks and the Cypriots hate each other. So uh, you're basically on your own. And uh, I got dropped off. I walked, then I started seeing sniper turrets and uh, dog patrols and British Army soldiers and uh, and then uh, I just kept on walking and eventually I made it to the checkpoint. They were actually quite nice. I was scared. Then I caught a cab to the Eastern Mediterranean University. Where my girl is there. Hey, check this out. So, she lives in the dorms, but she doesn't want to stay there anymore because the Nigerians bother her. So, uh, we spent the next couple days looking for somewhere to live because she wanted to get an apartment. Only problem is she didn't have no money or no job. But okay, you gotta give people the benefit of the doubt. So we were looking around for a while. And uh, spent a couple days doing that, bleeding cash. We found a new hotel in uh, the center of Famagusta, the Cypress Hotel. I go to the counter to pay and uh, they take my passport and they give me a key. I tell them I want the room for the day after and the following day. I tell them this 10 times. My card doesn't go through, so I call America because T-Mobile plan says that you can call America and cheat. My call won't go through. I use a third party calling service to make very expensive phone calls to explain to Bank of America and T-Mobile that this is not really a country, it's a dispute itself. And uh, they don't quite understand. They managed to clear one of my debit cards. But they can't make a transfer for me so I can get some money on the approved debit card. So I hang up and I figure, okay, I'll just get on my Blackberry and do it through the browser. So I log on to bankofamerica.com on my browser and it doesn't support Blackberries anymore can't log on to B of A.com with a black book. So, walk out, I go find an ATM, get the money out. Meanwhile, the airport in Cyprus is bringing my bag to me from the airport because it just landed, but they can only bring it as far as the checkpoint. So, they said they'll be there at 6.30. So, I catch a cab up there while she eats her $20 lamb chops. And, uh, the bag is at the checkpoint, but it's on the Greek side of the checkpoint. So, I get in the cab so we can get in and drive over No Man's Land, which is basically this two mile demilitarized zone full of dogs, snipers, British army men that I crossed alone to go and see my girlfriend after a two day trip in which I didn't sleep a lick. And of course, I can't get over. Wanna know why? Because... Cypress Hotel has my passport and you can't get over the border without your passport. 
yesterday we get in a big old argument because throughout all of this stuff, me humping her bags in and out of places and paying for stuff with credit cards to get denied and calling back America and all kinds of crazy ass shit. First thing that comes out of her mouth is, I need to get my hair done and I need you to spoil me on a shopping spree. And I said, you must be bat, bat, bat shit crazy. So, she walks back in the hotel room, watches some retarded movie, and uh, then packs her shit up and says, you're a loser. I'm leaving. So she's gone. I'm kinda happy. I love her. But she's not. And she thinks that a man owes her everything. And I think I was giving her plenty. I was paying for hotel rooms, cabs, food, drink. I was keeping us off the streets. She knew I was bleeding cash. She wants to talk about getting her hair done in a shopping spree. She's not on this planet. I called Aeroflot, see if I could change my flight. Not sure on that one yet. Called Funk Prez in Italy to see if he wants to get on this record a little earlier in Milan so I can leave for Bangkok before August 7th. No word on that yet. And then I thought about where I'm going to spend the next month while I try to figure out what's going on since my flight leaves Milan for Bangkok on August 7th. And I'm in the most expensive place in the world. Went to the supermarket. Some supplies. I call it the emergency kit for newly single homeless travelers. Let's have a look and see what's inside. Got uh, some kind of sandwich. I don't like sesame seeds. God knows what that is. I don't even know what's inside it. Who cares? Granny Smith apples. Tasty, durable, cheap, healthy. Tamsu water, okay? And this stuff here is fucking amazing. There goes a the dog. Yeah. Anyway, the dog seems cool. So anyway, this stuff's amazing. Cappuccino Mr. Brown. It's cheap and tasty as hell. Who makes it? Who the fuck makes it? No idea. Oh, Taiwan. Ah, Taiwan. And finally, no traveler would be complete without good old Sensodyne. Because it doesn't matter where you are and it doesn't matter who dumped you when your gums are on fire. Welcome to Famagusta.